After you have finished uploading the Journal 2 theme, we now have to install the Journal 2 admin interface and activate the theme. So let's go ahead and install the admin interface. To do that, let's go to the extensions, modules, and next to the Journal 2, click install. Now we have to activate the Journal 2 theme. In order to do that, let's go to the system, settings, click edit next to the, your store, and then click the store tab. And next to the template, it says your default. Change that to Journal 2. And let's go ahead and save. Let's look at the storefront now. As you can see, um, it looks much different from the default layout. And next thing we have to do is set up the menu system, which will create the both header and then the footer. And we'll be doing that inside the Journal 2 dashboard. Go to the back end, and as you can see at the top now, we have Journal 2 here. Click on that, and now we're inside the Journal dashboard. So everything pretty much happens in here. To create the menu systems, you would have to go to the menus and then click top menu and then click reset and then click save and just go to the uh, front end hit refresh you can see the top menu here at the top now next let's go ahead and reset the secondary menu click reset and save let's go to the front end again and hit refresh now we can see the login and register here show up. And then one more. Uh, we have to do the main menu. And then click reset and save. Go to the front end again. Hit refresh. And you can see the, the main menu show up now here at the top. Now let's work on the footer. Go to the footer and then menu and click reset save go to the front end hit refresh and then scroll down you can see the information show up here at the bottom now that we have finished setting up the menu systems we can go ahead and uninstall or disable some of the open cart modules because we'll be doing all of those inside the journal 2 dashboard with much more control so let's go to the back end go to the extensions modules so here some of the modules that you might want to consider either uninstalling or deactivating are the slideshow banner bestsellers latest specials carousel I will leave the featured module on for now because you can use this module to source products inside the journal 2 dashboard so you might want to just uh, leave that on for now and change it later. And that pretty much completes the installation and the menu system setup. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.